Well before Montana to Rice lit the league on fire, or Brady made the Super Bowl his second home, or even Michael Jordan became the GOAT, this player defined what dominance looks like. Truly allergic to losing, this player won the championship 70% of the time. To put that in perspective, statistically, this player was more likely to win the championship than Patrick Mahomes is to complete a pass. Who was this player? It was a man named Otto Graham. This is what made that player great, episode one, the forgotten dominance of Otto Graham. Though drafted by the NFL's Detroit Lions in 1944, it would be two more years before Otto Graham found his way onto a professional football field. Our story truly starts in 1946 when Otto Graham signed a contract with the All-American Football Conference's Cleveland Browns. Though not the day one starter, Otto Graham quickly claimed the job and led the team to a 12-2 season in a championship bid against the New York Yankees. The Browns would win the game 14-9, and this would kickstart a reign of a dynasty that would win not one, not two, not three, but four straight championships in the AAFC. In 1948, Otto Graham led the Browns to only the second ever perfect season in pro football history. In fact, between 1947 and 1949, Otto Graham and the Browns won 29 straight games. Otto Graham was not a silent partner in this success either. He led the league in passing multiple times and even set a pro football quarterback rating record with 112.1 in 1946. That record would stand for 43 years until Joe Montana finally broke it in 1989 with the 49ers. Let's just take a moment to properly appreciate this. Next closest quarterback rating that season in the AAFC was 69. Nice. Ben Roethlisberger, Philip Rivers, Dan Marino, Jim Kelly, Dante Culpepper, John Elway. These are all quarterbacks who were never able to top Otto Graham's record he set in 1946. And remember, this is an era of football that just barely introduced the forward pass. Truly one of the most remarkable records in pro football history. Even 77 years later, with all the dynamic offenses we see, only 12 players have ever surpassed the mark that Otto Graham set. When the AAFC dissolved and after the 1949 season, Otto Graham finished as the league's leader in passing yards and touchdowns and was undefeated in championship games at 4-0. In 1950, the Cleveland Browns would join the more established National Football League and Otto Graham would follow, and with him would follow his continual obsession with winning. The Browns went 10-2 in their inaugural season in the NFL, clinching their spot in the championship game against the Los Angeles Rams. Graham was clutching the playoffs, leading game-winning drives in both the first round of the playoffs and the championship game. He accounted for nearly 400 yards of offense as the Browns would beat the Rams 30-28 and extend their pro football championship streak to five in a row. Otto Graham and the Browns would put up a combined 29-6 record over the next three seasons, adding in three more championship game appearances. In 1954, with most of the original Cleveland Browns either retired, retiring, or about to retire, Otto Graham told the team internally that this would be his final season. The season started very rough for the Browns as they lost their opening three games. But Otto Graham, once again, found his stride. But Otto and the team would go on to win eight straight games and clinch yet another, their ninth championship appearance. In the championship game, once again, Otto Graham was brilliant. He threw for three touchdowns. He ran for three touchdowns. Cleveland Browns thumped the Detroit Lions 56 to 10. Otto Graham became the first of only two players in NFL history to throw and rush for at least two touchdowns in the championship game. The other, you guessed it, Jay Cutler. What? After the game, he would publicly announce his retirement from football. But it wasn't over. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. 
after the Browns' replacements for him struggled mightily in training camp and preseason the next season, Coach Paul Brown managed to convince Otto Graham to come back for just one more final ride with the team. Once again, Cleveland would start slow, dropping their opening game this time to Washington. But like always, Otto Graham figured it out, and the team finished 9-2-1. The final game of Otto Graham's career, his 10th straight championship game appearance, would come in 1955 against the 8-3-1 Los Angeles Rams. Led by Hall of Fame quarterback Norm Van Brocklin, this was a very good team. But the Rams never stood a chance. Graham and the Browns put up a complete team effort. Graham himself accounted for four touchdowns as Cleveland won convincingly 38-10. to Otto Graham's final season was a perfect storybook ending to an incredible career. He led the league in passing. He was league MVP, and most importantly, he won the championship. He retired as a five-time Pro Bowler, a seven-time All-Pro, a seven-time champion going to 10 straight championship games, a three-time MVP, and he was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1965. If you're looking for dominance, the standard was truly set by a man named Otto Graham. Thanks for watching this edition of Hammer Sports. Subscribe for more football content and deep dives into players of the past that you might have forgotten. Have a good one.